19th. And some schools still aren't sure if students will be in classrooms or at home come this fall. 13 News reporter Richard Bodie spoke to a local nonprofit that helps kids with disabilities about what its plans are. As the first day of class gets closer, schools have to prepare for it more than ever before. It's very, very fluid. As COVID-19 still looms over the country and the county, Rory Conran with McChesney Park's Menta Academy, which serves students in multiple local school districts who have disabilities, says the group has three plans for this school year. We created these internally um, and we beg, borrowed and sealed. We uh, collaborated with our local school district. One is a full return to school under the guidelines of public health experts. Next is a hybrid model with some in-person instruction and remote learning. And lastly, if needed, a return to fully online. But Menta Academy says ultimately which plan it uses isn't up to it. If the family and the school district both decide that they want to you know, implement a plan, we will be utilizing that. Conran says the local branch is uniquely poised to adapt for students as it instructs only 45 of them and has plenty of room to meet IDPH requirements. Some of the things that we have set up are the social distance markers, um, mat, uh, taping everything off in our buildings, having one ways. Um, we measured out every single one of our classrooms to ensure that we can have the social distancing. So while we don't know what this school year will bring, students do know a little bit more about what to expect when they return to class. For your 13 Weather Authority, Richard Bodie, 13 News. And Conrad says masks will be required for those who can medically tolerate one. He says challenges that will arise from kids wearing a mask for a full day of school are likely something that we will see across 